Мы продолжаем э, следующий доклад. Я его с третьего раза просто прочитал, потому что у меня все трипл D. Это у меня ассоциируется с трипл D. И я такой сразу, о, криптография, сейчас будет весело. Анальные забавы. Вот. Э, но это еще более интересно. Это моя любимая тема, про которую я тоже очень много рассказывал когда-то очень давно. И никто этого нифига не понял. А, вот, встречаем Лешу. Аплодисменты. Uh, so, guys, uh, I was asked uh, to choose the language, and I have chosen uh, English. So, uh, I just uh, ask you to be patient uh, because of my English, and I will try to uh, to speak from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and uh, the second uh, goal I aim uh, will be uh, to be um, clear and to be understandable. Uh, so the, um, the subject is uh, triple D. So uh, no one uh, names uh, the subject like this, but uh, I, uh, everyone here tries to to be some some behave uh, in the original way I just uh, this is my uh, attempt to do uh, like this so uh, first of all uh, when I um, when uh, this thought um, uh, came into my mind uh, what uh, what I will talk uh, about I tried to to find uh, examples um, I tried to find uh, if someone uh, told about uh, the subject on um, Ruby mediation on or or on uh, uh, different meetups related or um, connect, uh, connected with uh, Ruby mutation like uh, uh, PWRAC. And I, I have found uh, one guy. Uh, uh, his name is Volodymyr Bino. Bino. Uh, he's from Lviv. Uh, Bino, maybe. Uh, and I have, uh, have seen uh, the whole uh, presentation uh, about the subject. And uh, thanks, uh, big thanks uh, to him. Uh, for that, um, he tries to to, to um, uh, uncover this uh, quite uh, difficult uh, subject. But uh, what uh, what um, impression I, I had? Uh, I did not understand why uh, why uh, we use or why we can use uh, in Rails uh, DDD uh, approach uh, because uh, the example was uh, related to uh, user. Uh, user model and he uh, proposed to split user model on uh, different sections. One section uh, related to uh, authentication, another one uh, authorization and some, um, some another part, uh, some user details. And he proposed to have um, uh, have uh, uh, virtual uh, virtual models to split it uh, split it out. Uh, in fact, we have uh, one uh, physical uh, database in in, um, uh, in database uh, physical table in database. But uh, uh, we are operating um, with uh, these parts of uh, user um, separately. But uh, I found it uh, not very clear. But big thanks. Uh, to him and trying to think uh, how to how to um, reveal uh, the subject to, to Rails community. Uh, in fact, um, I I, uh, I practice uh, DDD, but we are using uh, Java and Scala, and we are practicing um, microservice architecture, um, but in, in Java using Java and Scala. So uh, so. System complexity. Um, everyone, I guess, uh, faced with, with this term. Uh, what does it mean? It means, first of all, that uh, when uh, this, uh, when a thought that uh, your system is complex uh, usually comes uh, into your mind. When you uh, try to uh, hard to maintain, maintain it, uh, hard to extend. Um, Every new, uh, every new feature uh, um, can cause uh, some problems, uh, some some bugs, uh, and uh, it, it uh, couldn't be uh, solved via via um, tests. Uh, the complexity uh, could be could be like this. Uh, this uh, from our project. Uh, this hierarchy of. Um, uh, in fact, this is just one, uh, just one entity. But uh, as 
you can see uh, uh, there is a polymorphism uh, in place, but this is only one entity. Uh, such entities, uh, there are many, many, many. Uh, how to deal with it? Uh, in, few, uh, in, in the past, uh, maybe someone uh, heard about an anem uh, anemic model. Model uh, the old approach, um, how to split, um, how, to, how to solve problems with, uh, with a big amount of code. Anemic model uh, implies that uh, logic and uh, data uh, and data storing or some uh, something uh, so-called DTO uh, are the different uh, different objects, uh, uh, and um, this model uh, this approach failed, and um, uh, DDD uh, domain driven design uh, came to to solve uh, to solve the problem this problem when uh, the logic. Uh, um, is spread around the application, and uh, you you cannot find uh, when the system uh, gets complicated. Uh, you can find uh, where the uh, something uh, live uh, in where 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 to where to see where where to find the problem. Separation of concern. Uh, Separation of concern, also term uh, that um, on the early times uh, it uh, tried to help uh, uh, solve the problem with uh, with complexity. We know, we all know uh, about MVC. You know, model, view, controller, and um, early uh, times it it helps helped uh, a lot us to to split um, split things out. Uh, in other in other terms, uh, when we playing with complexity of um, system complexity, we can use onion uh, architecture, hexagon, hexa hexagonal rail, rails. Uh, uh, by the way, rails. Yeah, there is uh, uh, also approach uh, called hex hexagonal rails and DCI. Uh, uh, but let's focus on uh, DDD. So uh, DDD is um, it's it's not just like uh, methodology. It's uh, uh, philosophy. Philosophy about isolation. Isolation of uh, parts of your system. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, this is a slide uh, traditionally is shown when one. Uh, wants to 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 talk about uh, DDD. So, uh, uh, there are m many terms uh, from DDD uh, perspective. We just um, we just uh, I'm going to to discuss uh, um, uh, entities or the terms uh, surrounded by by uh, by cycle. Uh, Book. This is a uh, Bible um, of uh, DDD uh, methodology uh, written by Eric Evans. Uh, uh, I know only one guy who who finished it completely uh, because it's quite uh, complicated. Uh, complicated in terms of uh, many many uh, theoretical uh, thinking about uh, thing how how things. Uh, uh, should go, but uh, not uh, very, uh, uh, not, not not very many uh, um, uh, some practical practical examples. And you can imagine what uh, uh, is uh, this uh, book is. Uh, just uh, there are, uh, on the market. Um, I know a couple of um, versions of this book. Uh, Essentials, essentials of the book, and and they uh, also sell it, uh, because uh, they are popular because uh, the book is quite complicated. Uh, so DDD uh, is a set of uh, pattern over patterns, uh, set of patterns, and uh, today we will uh, we'll discuss uh, uh, at least two of them: repository, uh, value object. Uh, but there are many, many, not uh, limited. Uh, the set of uh, patents not limited, um, uh, just uh, uh, them. Uh, uh, some theoretical terms, uh, loose coupling and high co uh, cohesion, yeah? Uh, 
I, I know many of you uh, heard about this. Uh, just just uh, just about terms uh, tie coupling. Yeah, uh, uh, very traditional uh, example: shopping cart. Yeah, and order and to um, to calculate um, uh, total amount of. Uh, uh, items in all, we uh, we are passing cart uh, into the order, and uh, this is an example of tightly uh, coupling uh, shopping cart and order. It's not good, yeah. Uh, everyone knows about its problems. Uh, how to to change something if uh, if uh, logic is uh, is growing uh, to how to to test uh, and so on. Uh, low cohesion. Uh, um, it's hard to to for me personally to give a definition of low cohesion. Uh, this is a feeling that something goes wrong uh, with your class. So car, yeah, uh, we, we can, mm, we can uh, handle uh, movement of car by uh, calling uh, turn left, turn light, but of, of course we can uh, uh, calculate rent, yeah, uh, if if you want, but uh, as you can see, a calculate rent method, it's not very suitable for, uh, it, it violates um, single respons responsibility principle, of course, but uh, it, it means uh, that mm, low cohesion uh, uh, is in the place, so uh, methods uh, are not on their places. Uh, turn left, turn right uh, are, uh, are methods uh, with high cohesion, uh, Unlike calculate rent, so we can extract it or something like that. Um, high high coupling. This is another one. Uh, another one example. Uh, this is an example from uh, probably microservice uh, architecture. Uh, just imagine uh, two parts of system: uh, sales, yeah, and shipping. Uh, we have um, e-com solution. Uh, and sales uh, in sales context, when we are talking about um, product, we think about uh, something we we can sell, yeah, to customer. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, that has some I don't know eight weight uh, uh, size and so on. Uh, uh, shipping context, if we are. Um, Thinking about that, uh, uh, shipping uh, is um, a separate part of the system. Even it's a um, microservice. Uh, we can somehow to achieve data uh, from sales uh, part of our our platform, our application. Uh, why do we need? Because uh, to to make shipment, uh, we should uh, um, achieve some information about product. Uh, this. Also high coupling. So uh, introducing uh, some changes into the product uh, in sales uh, part of our system, we uh, we can affect uh, behavior of um, uh, behavior of uh, shipping uh, part of our system. It's not good. Uh, as a um, as a solution, we can uh, introduce uh, redundancy, redundancy, and operate uh, products in in uh, in different contexts, in different ways. So, uh, from sales uh, context per, uh, perspective, uh, product is something, uh, as I said, uh, something that uh, has weight, height, and some different attributes. From the um, from the uh, uh, shipment uh, context, the pro uh, product is something that uh, has. Uh, some attributes related to, um, I don't know, uh, uh, is it, uh, could it be broken uh, when we are talking about uh, glasses, yeah? Uh, um, if it, it could be broken, the price of shipment could be, could, could be raised. Uh, but let's uh, return to, to terms of uh, DDD. Uh, this, this is a section of um, very general very, very general terms. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that uh, they help to to solve concrete tasks, but uh, to understand and to uh, absorb. Uh, in order in order to understand the DD, we sh you should absorb this uh, philosophy, these terms uh, as well. So ambiguities languages. Um, DDD implies that uh, uh, the system is complex. The system is complex, uh, and 
the system is in uh, some domain. Uh, I, I just check my countdown because oh, yeah, I closed. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, so. Uh, this is about com uh, uh, system complexity. Uh, system complexity, it means that uh, domain, domain, yeah, domain, uh, also is quite uh, complicated. And ambiguous uh, language is, is a um, general uh, and um, common language uh, which uh, is used by domain experts, yeah. You can think about domain experts like stakeholder, uh, any stakeholders, and and so on, and uh, of course developers, because developers uh, are not uh, experts in in um, in uh, concrete domain. Uh, so it, it's very important to to have such. Uh, uh, you can think about ambiguous language like uh, uh, about uh, dictionary dictionary that uh, is handled by all all of um, all of. Uh, People who are working on the project, not only f uh, not only developers or uh, and other st um, stakeholders. Uh, let let's imagine. Let's uh, uh, imagine what could it be? What uh, a, a biggest language uh, could be uh, in case of Uber? Uber yeah? Uber, Uber, Uber. Uh, so, what is coupon? What is driver? Booking, uh, uh, booking amount, checkout. What does it mean? Um, you, you can uh, you you can look at the, the list of these uh, terms and uh, you can think about uh, why do we need it? Uh, we all understand what does it coupon means and what does it, uh, 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 driver mean. But uh, uh, in fact, when uh, the system is growing. Uh, uh, there are many, many uh, such terms, and uh, term uh, you are using uh, in different contexts uh, also could um, could be different. Like I don't know, uh, telephone. Yeah, in uh, in context, your personal usage. Yeah, this is like cell. Yeah, but telephone is also just number of digits. Yeah, you are using in support system. I don't know. Uh, so, bundled context is also one of the um, core uh, terms uh, in DD. Bundled context uh, from from the term of boundary. Boundary is limitation. This is, um, as I said, strict borders between parts of the of the system. Um, Bounded context consists of models. Models uh, describe uh, models describe. Um, Models describe models, so driver is model, uh, uh, coupon is model, it's like uh, active record model, you can think about this. Um, also, um, bond context is about uh, strict uh, interface uh, um, you expose for, uh, for external uh, usage of your part of the system. This is like you can, uh, uh, for simplifying, uh, you can think uh, about it like uh, uh, like a, a strict API. Uh, but we are not talking about, uh, to be precise, so we are not talking about uh, just API. I, I will uh, I will explain. Uh, so uh, as I said um, uh, on previous slides, a bounded context. Uh, the first context sales, yes, yeah, sales uh, subsystem and uh, shipping. Context shipping subsystem. So uh, when we are talking about uh, product in the context of sales, this is about price and available size. Yeah, uh, sizes. Sorry. Uh, uh, in shipping context, uh, shipping context, uh, we are operating delivery zones term and fragile. Yeah, C could it be uh, broken or not? Um, also uh, in uh, when you follow uh, DDD principle, you uh, you can uh, draw uh, context maps. This is a very um, high level uh, uh, schema of uh, interoperation between parts of the system. So uh, billing uh, uses order, order uses um, clients, and so on. As you can, self-explanatory. Uh, why do we need it? Uh, this is like a document. Uh, 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 uses uh, documents that used by all uh, all all, um, all people on the project. As I said, uh, developers, stake, different stakeholders, uh, domain experts. Uh, 
this is how an uh, application that uh, follows the DD principles looks like. This is a layered, app, uh, layered uh, architecture. This is first uh, level, um, the most external uh, user interface. We can think about user uh, interface like um, in our case, in the case of Rails, this is like uh, uh, controllers, uh, application level that uh, coordinates um, interaction with domain objects, domain objects like uh, uh, order, I order items, uh, drivers, uh, and so on. Uh, domain, domains is where business logic, uh, business logic lives. As I said, this is uh, in contrast of um, uh, anemic model, all business logic uh, uh, lives in uh, domain layer, uh, uh, no, nowhere else. And uh, infrastructure, and this is um, everything related to uh, to manipulation with database, with queues, with uh, um, different uh, APIs, uh, third party APIs, and so on. Uh, so domain layer, the most uh, important for us because uh, business logic uh, lives here. This, um, I heard about value object. You, you asked about value objects. Is, uh, also, here is where the object, um, where the object um, pattern is represented. So entities, domain, events, and aggregates. Let's uh, discuss uh, each of them. Entity um, hold, uh, holds uh, business logic, has ID, has ID, order has ID, yes, uh, and um, uh, Distinguished by by this ID, not by um, uh, uh, different attributes like uh, quantity of uh, items inside or something like that. Uh, mutable and the example is a person order. Value objects. Uh, value object is uh, something that um, uh, holds uh, also can hold uh, some business logic, but. Um, um, this special object, uh, they uh, uh, explain uh, and hold some information that uh, could not be uh, identified uh, by ID. Let's, uh, let's think about uh, uh, what it could it be. This is like money, yeah? Money, uh, m money object, or money class. What does it have? Uh, just uh, money amount, yeah, in decimal, and uh, um, currency, yeah. Uh, do we need uh, to have a identity in database uh, for this object? I guess no, because uh, except we uh, we are using some, we are handling some cases with dictionary. We uh, we want to have um, value object or money object or address, just like um, separation of some uh, some data from the main object. And uh, value object uh, is mandatory uh, 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 in DDD uh, is immutable. Uh, uh, small example of. Uh, value object, let's uh, imagine order, yeah? Order uh, entity, order entity. Uh, in, um, in database, uh, physically we have, uh, we have two, uh, two fields, field amount and currency. And from the uh, code, yeah, from the code, we have, uh, um, from the code perspective, we have uh, fee, uh, just fee value object that holds uh, uh, fee amount and country and we can uh, operate with, uh, with this object uh, uh, separated from the base entity object. Oh, aggregate, aggregate uh, this is um, also one of the core um, terms of uh, DDD so uh, this is a set of, uh, set of entities, set of um, uh, value objects. Um, the reason why aggregate uh, is uh, introduced in DDD uh, to have um, to have uh, some uh, logical cluster of objects that are uh, related to each other. Um, good example is this, uh, order and order items and. Uh, uh, Order and product uh, also could be could be uh, could be inside um, one aggregate. Uh, 
we, why uh, aggregate, uh, we are trying to isolate uh, some uh, part of our system uh, from, from uh, another part of the system. Uh, we, uh, this isolation is uh, completed uh, via um, aggregate route. The only one object uh, we are using to access all, uh, all objects inside, uh, inside aggregate. In case of... Um, in case of, uh, uh, example, order uh, order items, order is uh, is uh, aggregate roots for a set of objects. Um, why we do we need it? Uh, not to corrupt uh, uh, internal state, uh, internal state of objects, because uh, uh, when we are using um, uh, traditional model, uh, traditional approach. Uh, in Rails, we have order and has many to order items. Yeah, uh, we can uh, we can access to order items um, just like associations, and we can uh, add whatever we want and change what whatever we want. And order object even uh, uh, couldn't uh, couldn't know about this change. Yeah. Uh, in case of uh, using aggregate, we can control. Uh, this example of, uh, of aggregate, as you can see, uh, order, uh, line item, uh, this is all uh, aggregation. Uh, customers is another one, aggregation. Um, and as an example, you can see that here that uh, there is order, yeah, order class. Uh, don't pay attention that uh, there is no active record, uh, just like example. Uh, as you can see, um, add item uh, model, uh, add item method help us to control the state, um, the state of order items. I mean that we can control, like in uh, this case, uh, price, yeah, quantity, and uh, whatever we want. Uh, and we we don't corrupt uh, corrupt um, uh, whole state. Repository, uh, repository also one of the um, uh, patterns uh, used in uh, DDD. Uh, all interaction uh, with the database should be should be go in um, uh, repository. Repository uh, um, doesn't know about uh, implementation. Um, what database uh, you are using on the project? Yeah, this is also abstraction, but all um, C, uh, CRUD operations, uh, different uh, fetching from the database uh, related to uh, entities should um, should go uh, here in in the repository. Uh, uh, sorry, guys, uh, I, I'm going to show some more concrete example in the end so don't be don't be feel exhausted uh, and uh, this example of repository uh, we initialize person model yeah uh, family repository that um, operates with uh, with um, database uh, with model uh, uh, family and we can use such uh, such method find uh, Find actual by ID and user, uh, and um, encapsulate uh, uh, interaction with uh, with database uh, uh, even uh, over the active record. Uh, services, uh, as you maybe remember, first layer of the application is um, is an interface and application service application. Service we can think about application service like uh, controllers, uh, like controllers. Uh, they are seen, they are stateless. Just uh, uh, what they uh, may to do this um, fetch entities, uh, fetch aggregate roots, and put them into repo uh, repositories. Uh, via repositories into the um, database. Uh, example: application service. Uh, we have for order service, uh, which can add uh, item, uh, and we uh, use uh, different repositories to to achieve data uh, according to um, related to orders uh, and products, and then put them uh, put them uh, back to the, the database. Uh, 
uh, what uh, what the problem uh, with Rails and DDD? So persistence model and domain model are the same. Uh, we are living in a real world, and uh, we are all using Active Record. Maybe someone uh, else uh, used I don't know, SQL or something like that. But um, we have no plain uh, uh, so-called PO, uh, RO, plain object Ruby something like that. So we can use plain objects. Uh, and in this case, we violate um, one of the DDD principles. Uh, oh, I, I put it uh, here. But it, it should be uh, at the end. So, sorry. Uh, where am I? Oh, maybe it's, it's the end. Uh, so, uh, I, Okay, uh, uh, let me show the uh, small piece of code, yeah? This is just uh, an example you can find uh, in my git, so. Zoom in. Zoom in. Oh, sorry. Just a moment. Uh, first of all, uh, about the um, uh, code, uh, code segregation um, in terms of uh, folders, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the list of folders, um, uh, list of folders differ from the traditional uh, list of folders in the Rails application. Uh, we have um, uh, layers, application, domain, infra, and web. Uh, so, uh, application, as I said, this. Uh, 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 this is a list of commands. Commands also uh, com uh, could be used as a command uh, uh, pattern, uh, command uh, segre um, uh, com Yeah, yeah, common. Yes, thank you. Uh, had to recall. So we're using a command to change something, to change something uh, in our business logic. Um, we have a domain, a uh, domain that um, uh, describes uh, some some domain objects uh, like order and ordered items. Uh, we have a uh, repository uh, is just general repository. I mean, um, abstract. Then could be could be um, over overridden, but I I don't understand why it's it's not overridden. So um, uh, we have a domain section. We have application se uh, section that holds uh, uh, services uh, for creation, for adding products. Uh, for changing product uh, quantity, um, we are using uh, here. We are, we can use um, domain objects uh, and um, repositories to to achieve data and to save data into the database. And um, infrastructure that also uh, all uh, that uh, has uh, has. Um, has something to do with uh, this third party uh, third party um, interaction should be uh, should be placed uh, uh, there uh, i don't know you, you can uh, visit um, you can visit it in, in my git and uh, check uh, check uh, how it uh, uh, how it uh, goes but uh, let's just can so uh, what I have found for, from my side, um, oh sorry, uh, uh, Rails uh, and Ruby uh, doesn't have um, uh, dependency injection, and uh, um, I, I know um, it, it actually has uh, wire different games, uh, but it, it's not uh, so so. Um, uh, so useful and so convenient, like in, uh, for example, like in Java, and you always uh, should use uh, many uh, boilerplate code, uh, and um, then, uh, as I said, persistence model and domain uh, model uh, are the same, and we don't have uh, uh, plain objects, uh, plain Ruby objects inside. 
And as you can see, uh, it contradicts um, uh, Railsway. Railsway is about uh, uh, pure pure Railsway. This is about uh, controllers, views, and models. Yeah. Um, of course, we we, are no, we all know about uh, different approaches to, to split the code, like uh, a trail browser. Uh, like uh, this is also um, uh, beautiful try to, to split the code, uh, but uh, anyway, it contradicts uh, to Rails way, and. Uh, so DDD is suitable for systems with uh, with um, complex business logic, uh, and uh, in opposite, it's bad for systems with technical complexity. Uh, technical complexity, example of technical complexity, is like uh, Twitter. So it should work extremely fast, but uh, uh, mm, uh, comparing with uh, with technical complexity, business logic complexity, so maybe it's quite a controversial um, statement, but uh, um, business logic uh, complexity, it's not so, uh, it's not so complicated like, uh, like technical complexity in case of uh, Twitter. So, um, and uh, what's wrong with this approach? So when, you you uh, may start to think about uh, DDD when uh, your your system is um, is getting uh, more complicated, bigger, bigger, and bigger, and um, uh, you 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 uh, should um, come to your manager and and sell the idea to rewrite uh, using uh, uh, DDD uh, principle because uh, I I, uh, I have a doubt that Rails developers or Ruby developers uh, use uh, this approach uh, at the very beginning of development of uh, new system because Rails uh, and this stack it's um, it's for uh, fast. Um, get into the markets um, and uh, uh, yeah and it's it very easy to 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 do it uh, wrong and of course uh, it, it's good to have a mentor um, and and expensive because you you, you need um, you need time to uh, refactor big amount of code uh, and this resources uh, I have found very Useful, uh, good com uh, DDD community on Reddit. Uh, blog of uh, one of uh, guy. Uh, he's uh, Polish, uh, and uh, also he he um, he's written a, a book uh, that costs uh, very high, about one hundred dollars. Uh, the DDD and uh, DDD in rails and DDD community also could be. Uh, Oh, sorry, guys. From you can ask something. Yeah. Thank you. Question. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Михаил. На, прошло... На последнем RubyC был доклад по DDD, и там докладчик спустя год после доклада о том, как это все-таки хорошо, рассказал, с чем он столкнулся. Вот. То есть, что это было проклятием для команды, которая в итоге над ним работала. Каков твой опыт работы вообще с DDD? Есть... Используешь ли в продакшене и вообще как, как поживает? Я сказал в самом начале, что ну, я сейчас на проекте работаю, и там используем Java и Scala. И у нас огромный, э, огромный э, монолит, вот, действительно очень большой. Вот, э, вот то, что я показал, там иерархия класса, вот один из вообще, может быть, сам и небольшой, я просто не нашел еще больше. Просто много людей, 40 человек людей там работало за 5 лет э, на этом проекте, только разработчиков. Э, и, э, Сейчас мы переписываем, есть ребята, которые dedicated ну, в Java, специалисты, и мы переписываем на микросервисы и используем DDD, и часть микросервисов уже, ну, часть функционала с вот этого монолита, она выброшена, это, это реальный продакшн. Реальный, реальный продакшн. Может быть, он не очень классный, но, например, там, ну, у нас есть кастомеры из Малайзии, 
еще там из одной страны северной был. Он не буду называть ее. И есть вот... Есть такое вот... Ну, TV, dot, Kivstar, dot, UI. Это OTT решение. То есть оно уже там существует какое-то время. У нее там ну, свои есть особенности, так скажем. Вот. Но это продакшн. И в этом монолите вот эти принципы, они тоже использовались. Но так как разные люди писали там вообще из, откуда только можно, оно, конечно, ну, где-то теряется, что-то там усложняется, ну, многое усложняется. Я к тому, что я не думаю, что вот когда закончится переписывание, да, есть все эти проблемы с eventual consistency, вот эти все вещи, ну, они как бы свойственны не DDD, собственно, а, собственно, ну, архитектуре микросервисной. Но я не думаю, что я через год вот пришел бы и сказал, что это все дрянь. Вот там это действительно работает. Вот здесь я не уверен, что вообще кто-то будет это использовать. Вот Trail Brazor, да, я вижу, это довольно конкретная вещь такая, и много докладов было, и мне кажется, это можно использовать. Но вот эти принципы, они какие-то, вот, знаешь, какие-то очень размытые. В, вот, когда я пытался что-то там на, на, набрать, да, какой-то кодик, мне казалось, что это я делаю какую-то неестественную вещь, какую-то ну, какую девиацию какая-то. Вот. Поэтому вот, вот так. Когда это закончится переписываться? Никогда. А, да, у нас не очень много времени, вернее, в смысле, у нас его уже нет, но вы можете на кофебрейке позадавать вопросы и спасибо, общаться. Спасибо, спасибо большое, Леша. Терпели мой английский.